Hello reformers and welcome back to Rogue Islands. Now I'm revisiting Rogue Islands because the profits to Rogue Islands actually go to sick and disabled children. You can see this on the store page and I thought to myself, okay, we gotta do something nice. You know, we gotta go and we gotta play this game again because I would very much like to see where it has come in over 70 updates since I last played it. So. Without further ado, let us begin a new game, and oh my. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, okay. Explorer, take less damage. <laughs> yes. Yes, please. Take less damage. For thousands of years, the gnomes of Vitalor flourished. A network of great trees bound their islands together. Until one day, the Deep Root Grove revealed a demonic invasion. And then, the Great Tree Network went dark. But now, a brave gnome druid named Motwood is sailing into the unknown. To restore the Great Tree Network and save the Rogue Island. And there's one of the new additions, a voiceover before every level. So that's pretty cool. And we are now here at Deep Root Grove. And we can go to Florid Vale. So let's do that. Travel to this island, yes. Now, I remember this game very vividly because <laughs> everything wants to kill you. Yes, everything wants to kill you. It's wilting. Was it a metaphor? A prophecy? Delirium? It wasn't until the canopy of the great grove began to wilt and die that the deep root gnomes knew it to be true. The forest flowers wilted. Once juicy berries shriveled and grew sour. Unborn earthlings withered and died in their ponds. A horrible malaise gripped the clan. They wept and wailed unable to conceive of what had befallen their idyllic existence. And as mentioned before, yes, we have a, a voiceover introduction right there. Anyway, we have now arrived, and we're going to continue onward. As Motwort, the fellow with the staff and things, yes. Okay, so let's, let's store, uh, shall we store the, store the puffed beans and the wild bulb? I'm going to need these things. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna need them. Okay, so let's fire away there. Okay, so aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so th these are my abilities. Obviously, I only have spark shot at the moment. I'm gonna need to find. Oh no! Am I literally? Am I starving already? Are you serious? Okay, wait a minute. Let me see if I can. Wait a minute. How do I access my inventory? Ah, there we go. There it is. All right. So puffed beans. I'm gonna use that. There we go. Thank you. Okay, so now I'm no longer starving. Hopefully. Should I, should I eat again, or do I need to eat again? No, it doesn't seem like I need to eat again. That's fantastic. Okay. So, now, yes, as I was saying, everything wants to kill you in this game, including the plants. Yeah, you're just running around, and you're just minding your own business. Oh! Yes, you're minding your own business, and then you get absolutely murdered by a bonefish, or a skeleton, or a bumblebee, for example. Hello, bumblebee. Yes, you very much want, want to eat my face, don't you? Oh, yes, let me just walk into the acid as well. My blood is poisoned. Uh, yes. Very good work, Motwort. You're walking into all kinds of wonderful things. That's all thanks to me, though. Okay, what's that? I don't know what that is, but I'm going to pick it up. Oh, it's 25 health. Okay, that's good. Okay, what is this? What's this? What's that? What's this? What's this? What's that? I don't know, but we're going to go and see. 
Okay, I need to be a little bit careful here because I don't really want to go into the water. I feel like going into the water is a bad idea, especially considering that bonefish was in there. Wow, there's actually a lot of them. Can I kill these? Oh, no. Oh, please don't. No, no. Stay away from me, fiend. There we go. Yes. Bumblebee. Yep. Okay, so the bumblebee, I believe, leaves poison on the floor. Or something along those lines, at least. Okay, what's that? Is that something I can pick up? It seems to be. Yeah, some health, I guess. Alright. So, what we need to do first is find the demon portal. Now, of course, we did do that beforehand in the previous video that I made of this game. But, well, yeah, you can you can kind of guess what happened. We, we kind of got murdered pretty badly. Okay, ah, uh, ah, uh, what's that? Yes. Give me that. Okay, our stomach is empty. No, we need to eat something. I'd like to try and eat something from the floor, if possible, because that's very hygienic. <laughs> okay, what's that? Yes. Wild bulb. And we have a couple of other things here. Peppy Acorn. Okay, I need to be careful. I need to be careful. I, I heard something. And these are these are the things that really murder you. Because they're thorny. And obviously you don't want thorns in your face. Does that actually do anything to these guys? No, apparently they're immune to my damage at the moment. Maybe I need to get some sort of other wand type to be able to do that. Okay, well, I'd like to make sure that we are absolutely fine in terms of food, so I'd like to try and find some more if possible. I'm looking around. Aha, there's some. There's something behind me. Ah! Another bee. Another bumblebee. Okay, please don't poison me. Again. Okay, so let's have a look here. Okay. Scroll of teleportation. Ah, teleport to my ship instantly. Okay, so that's fantastic. A big crunchy nut found in evergreens. Lev levitate twice as long and run faster while digesting. Aha, so yeah, everything you eat apparently gives you a slight buff for the duration of you eating it. So that's cool, because what, what I'm eating right now, I have no idea what it does, but it's pretty cool that they have added that, unless, unless I just didn't realize that that was indeed the case before. I'm going to try and mine some of this if I can. Or at least destroy. Can, can I? Can I not pick up something from there? I'm being I'm being murdered by something. But what? Ah. You take this. Okay, I'm gonna need to run in this direction by the looks of things. Okay, give me that. That's health. Yes. Oh, juicy root. Okay, I'm gonna uh, eat this. There we go. Thank you. Okay, anything else? Ah, ah, I think I may have seen it. I think I may have seen what we need to, f to find. The, the demon portal. The demon portal itself. Oh, that's cool as well. When you eat food, apparently it stacks the effect. So even if you eat something while you are eating something else, in other words, digesting something else, then you can still... Oh, no! Get away! You can still actually eat it and still gain the benefits from it. So that's fantastic. That's good for me. Okay, take this! Okay, we need to be careful. We need to be careful. This is diabolical. It's very, 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 very tense. So, is that it? That thing in the sky over there? Yes, it looks very menacing. Give me that. Yeah. Oh, what was that? There's a peppy acorn somewhere. Why can I not see it? Am I ah, there it is. Oh, I can't carry any more? Oh, okay, I'm gonna use it then. Okay, so this, uh, okay, oh my. Yes, this is apparently the place that we need to be. But I need to be very careful here. 
Because this is gonna... Ah, yep, this is gonna mean explosions. Give me that health. Give me that. I need that. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Alright, so I'm needing to be a little bit cautious here. Alright, so if I take a look around, I see that it's up there. Well, that's... That is not good for me, is it? Certainly not, especially considering I'm being absolutely murdered by all of the flying, flaming skulls. Okay, so can I... Can I actually kill these? Ah, they, they also suicide against you. That's fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna... Gonna heal. Or if I can. Okay, uh, yes, cannot eat while stomach is full. Well, I hope that this is going to give me some HP back. No time to read item descriptions. Getting murdered. Okay, can I... Okay, so let's just see. Am I in a safe, safe enough place here? Somewhat. Not really. Oh, my. Oh, health. Give me that. Yeah. Okay, and then I just took <laughs> I just took the basically the same amount of damage that I healed, yes. Give me that. Oh, and then I walk into some thorns. Okay. Me walking into thorns. That is basically... <laughs> that is basically what has happened here. Okay, so I think I probably need to escape. Oh, squash! I need squash. Yes. Okay, wait a minute. Is anything after me? Yeah, there is something shooting at me, but I think I can probably avoid it for now. And I can eat this squash. Oh no! We still have a full stomach. Okay, well, this is not good. This is bad. This is very bad. Okay. Oh, he's very he's very low. Yes. Take that. I sniped you. That guy has some health that I can pick up. Get it. Yes. Okay. Did I oh, no. I didn't get the health. I just got the ruby shard. Oh, no. Okay. G give me the health. Give me the health. Give me that. Nope. Okay. Apparently, it's... There we go. Yes. Now I can, now I can pick it up. I'm not sure, there seems to be a little bit of a delay on picking up health for some reason. I'm not entirely sure what it is. There could be something that I'm not really doing properly. Okay, we're now at 45. Okay, that's 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 a lot better. Hilariously enough, the acorn that we ate is still digesting. I'm very, very surprised about that. I suppose maybe it's not a very good food to eat because it takes too long to digest. Maybe that's it. All right. Oh my. Okay. What are you? I don't know what you are, but I very much don't want a hug. Thank you. How do I? Do I? Do I? Can I? Can I even damage this? It doesn't look like I can damage this. Okay. Yes. There is a reason why they want you to go back to the ship when it's night time. <laughs> this is obviously a very good reason for that. Okay, I'm going to try and run away here, but I'm probably going to get myself killed by some thorny, thorny thorns. And that's not going to be very good. Or by one of these. No, no. Yes, okay. There we go. Eat that squash. Yeah, there we go. We got some HP back. And... Am I dead? I... Oh, there we... Oh, okay, there we go. Phew. Ah, Okay. We're back and safely on our ship. Now, because we're playing on a reasonably low difficulty, because the others are absolutely menacing and fiendish, we gain this. Yes, we gain two of these when we first start, and that basically means that we can, you know, respawn, basically. So, let's make an imbued diamond. Diamond Cutter, yes. Imbued Diamond, a perfect twinkling jewel with a heart of starlight, capable of channeling raw mana. Alright, so we need five of these to create 20 of those. I'm actually unsure what that means, but I suppose we're going to find out. 
Is there anything else I can do here? Mana charge. Small purple pebbles that absorb ambient raw mana increases mana storage capacity. I see. Alright. Well, there's the map. That's where we were before, as far as I'm aware. And that's where we are here. So if I go along there, that's how, that's how I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna have to get there. Okay. So, yeah, I'm gonna assign the imbued diamond to improve my spark shot. So, now, it uses no mana? <gasps> That's amazing! That is really cool, so that means I can jump and shoot at the same time, because jumping actually does take, well, magic to be able to do, because you're, you're technically floating, aren't you? So, I'm gonna hide until morning. Let's do that. Because I don't want those ghosts chasing after me. I, I don't have the Ghostbusters with me, of course, so that's not very good. Alright, so I do have some food. Sometimes you just need a snack. Wild Bulb. Instantly fills. No, I think the Peppy Acorn is pretty good. So I'm going to use that, because that takes a long time to digest, and that means that I will have, you know, a full stomach for quite, quite a lot of the time. So let's see if I can make it over to the Demon Portal before the night time comes. So let's see if I can get over there in the first place. Okay, so I can zoom in like that. Oh, there seems to be a couple of things over there. Diamond shards. Aha. Uh -huh. I can assume I can make diamonds or something along those lines if I have enough shards. Flamestone as well. Give me that. Give me that flamestone, thank you very much. What's that? I don't know what that is. Doesn't seem to be anything. Okay, give me that. Uh, we've got a bunch more things over here. Oh no, I'm, I'm taking way too long to get over to where we need to be before the night time comes. And then we're going to be murdered once again. That's not going to be good. Okay, I, well, considering I'm using the peppy acorn, it means that I can run faster, so that's good. Okay, so if I... Can I select anything else yet? No. Not just yet. What's that? Oh no! I destroyed a cherry! Ah, oh, I need that. <laughs> okay, I can destroy these actually really easily now that I have technically unlimited mana with spark shot. Oh, ryegrass. Give me that. Alright, so where is the... Where's the demon portal? Ah, oh, there it is. Okay, so I am... I am in time. Oh no. I'm very bad at jumping. Can you tell? Okay, there we go. Jump! Yes. Oh no. What am I being shot by? I don't even know, but it doesn't matter. Or does it? <laughs> oh no! We fell. Okay, so what is actually... Ah, hello there, Mr. Explodey person. Not very happy with you, thank you very much. I'm not happy with you either. Go away. Alright, so let's jump. Ah, okay, I don't have enough. Alright, so yeah, I need to eat something. So I'm going to eat some squash, because that will restore 30 health instantly, so we'll be back to a pretty reasonable level. Actually, 20 health. Oh, okay. My bad. Must have read that wrong. Okay, uh, there we go. Okay. Okay, go. Yeah. Okay, so that's good. Come on now. We can make it. If we really want. Yeah, exactly. We can do that. Ah, no. Stay out of my way, Mr. Exploding Person. Ah. Oh, oh I'm, I'm levitating. Yeah. Okay, I saved myself. Kind of. Not really. Okay, so that's that's actually a really, really cool mechanic that I can actually levitate, because if I couldn't, then I would just be falling down all the time. Okay, so let's go up here. There we go. Anything else? Anyone else want to knock me off? No, it doesn't seem like it at the moment. But you never know. 
Getting a bit wary here. Okay, so apparently, according to my previous experience, these things kill you instantly. So if I can avoid getting absolutely murdered by the actual demon gate itself, or demon portal, then I should be okay. Close it. Yes. Yes. Okay, so now, <laughs> phew, that was, oh, that was very close, very, very close. Okay, so now at least I can eat some more squash and that restores 20 health instantly, actually, yeah. Ah, oh, okay, so let's have a look here. So where is, what is bitumen? Bitumen is this, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, it's basically coal, I believe. It looks like coal. So I'm going to try and levitate down here. And does that mean that I don't have to fight any more of those skeletal guys? Who knows? But I suppose we'll find out relatively soon. Okay, give me that. There we go. All right, so what we need to do is... I actually did pass a little bit of that bitumen while I was running over here. So, oh, of course, I would take damage from the falling. So what I'd like to do is maybe try and retrace... Ah, there we go. There is some. What's that? Eat it. Yes. Uh, all mana refilled. Oh, that's not particularly what I wanted, but okay. I'll take it. Okay, so there is something over here as far as I'm aware. So if I can just destroy these things. Oh, you can destroy the thorns? Oh, I had no idea. Okay, so I've collected one bitumen, two now. Okay, let's see if it's actually any any more. Yeah, there is actually some more. Anything else? Well, we do have the adamant over there, so I suppose I could take that. Okay, I'm just being very, very wary here. Alright, so do I need to mine down? Ah, no, maybe not. I might need to mine down in the future, but at the moment... No, I don't. Okay, so I don't know how much I have, but it doesn't really matter because I suppose it will tell me when I have 15. Well, it is starting to be night now, so obviously that is a big problem. Big problem. Because those ghosts, if those ghosts come out again without me being able to use my teleportation scroll or something like that, I'm gonna die. Probably. Give me that. There we go. Okay, ah, there, there, there's some bitumen over there. Yes. There's some more up there. Yes. Okay, do I have 15 now? I should have 15, I think. Yes, I am ready to fuel my ship. There we go. Craft ship fuel. Let's do it. Alright, so how do I do that? I need to go over here and... Is that the ship fuel? Yep. There we go. Alright, so I can fuel the ship now. Add fuel to the furnace and leave the island. Alright. Okay, so we did that. So now I just need to figure out where my ship is. Okay, so it's in this direction. Alright, so I need to get there before 
nighttime is really, really nighttime, if you know what I mean. Where the ghosts come out. The ghosts are actually coming out right now, and they're going to murder me. Yes, if I could just... There we go. Okay, thank you. Yeah, the ghosts are coming out right now. As you can see, you feel a cold presence on the island. That's exactly what that is. Luckily, I took a peppy acorn, which means I can move a little bit faster. And there's the ghost over to the right. Oh, how fantastic. If I can keep moving in this direction, though, I should be okay. There's the ship. Yes. Okay, we might, we might have made it. The sh the, oh, the ghost is right behind me. Literally, it is right behind me. Very, very close. There we go. Okay, so leave the island. Oh no, I've got to add one. Ah, oh, okay, add it, and then and then leave it. Yes. Phew. Okay, that was very close. Ah, oh, yeah. So there you go. Not bad. Not bad if I say so myself. So, if you would like to pick this game up, the link is in the description. All profits go to charity to help sick and disabled children. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.